So Bob Iger has made it ultimately clear just a couple of weeks ago that they are not backing away from their overall agenda, their ideology, if you will, everything to do with DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, especially when it comes down to, by the way, their Disney live action remakes based on animated classics, where they have a full roster of remakes of those animated classic films that are actually going to be released throughout the end of the 2020s and beyond. Bob Iger wants to make it very clear that they are not quieting down the noise as he initially said some months ago. Now, what's interesting here has a lot more to do with the ongoing Snow White 2025 drama. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So we know that this movie in particular has been just a disastrous road for Disney, for Bob Iger, who is trying to basically build a legacy for himself before 2026. And the reason why I bring that year up is that that is the very year that Iger plans to step down as the CEO. However, this is where things begin to really go in a downward spiral, all because of Rachel Zegler behind the scenes and exactly what she's been doing toward and against Gal Gadot, one of the co- cast members of this movie, by the way. She plays the evil queen in the film. But what's interesting about this has a lot to do with the fact that this is creating a major snag on upcoming reshoots that are supposed to kickstart by this December, which could very well bleed into January now, which is going to be another major hit for Disney and not in a good way. Now, what's interesting about this is the fact that this movie is going to cost well over $300 million if you want to throw in the reshoots into the equation there. But with the Walt Disney Company going through multiple cost-cutting strategies by Bob Iger and the executives at Disney in different directions, one major development that is active now involves more to do with Rachel Zegler and the ongoing drama toward Gal Gadot behind the scenes. Now, one significant development that is growing right now involves how recently the Walt Disney Company decided to cancel yet another another major event for the marketing campaign of Snow White 25. This time it involves a solo performance by Rachel Zegler live on stage that was going to be presented on live television during New Year's Eve with Zegler dressed up as Snow White in costume. Now Disney recently just cancelled this completely in the entire event due to Zegler's recent behavior behind the scenes and already Zegler is on the blame game train who reportedly already had a very loud argument to Ward Gal in a recent gathering for the Snow White cast and crew along with the creators over this actual marketing campaign. The lashing out from Zegler was best described as very intense and extreme toward Gal, where she blamed how she influenced the cancellation of her solo event for New Year's Eve that was going to promote Snow White 25 at a full scale. This back and forth argument between both Rachel and Gal only worsened the already disastrous drama for Snow White as Bob Iger and the Disney executives have been desperately trying to patch things together to get reshoots going by this December. Now, there was even a moment in which Zegler put full blame on Gal for why Rachel had so many bad acting takes in the third act of the film and why Disney had to actually do reshoots the entire ending of the movie. This is all now being blamed on Gal by Zegler, who in turn is making the drama even worse. Now, at this point, the reshoots may very well be delayed until January of next year, and if that happens, Disney will be forced to delay the film until June or July from their original March release date window. However, to make matters worse for Rachel is that this behavior is already putting her in the hot seat where her blaming gal is now making the Disney executives take swift action by warning Zegler that she could very well be removed from making an appearance at the world premiere of Snow White in early March if she gives off bad energy and bad vibes on live television during interviews. Already several interviews have been canceled for Zegler through major media outlets and Zegler also blamed gal for that as well. Now, now guys, let me just say one thing about this. Now, the fact that Zegler is just blaming Gal Gadot for everything about all of her failures when it comes to the marketing campaign events that are getting canceled like flies that are also uh, leading to test screening failures. We know that happened already. There are a total of six of them and that have failed continuously and consecutively. We know that every single one is failing and really showing no signs of improvement. But what's interesting about this is the fact that you have somebody like Zegler 
who is really putting all of her issues with this movie, all of her complications with the film, her acting capability being very flawed, and throwing that now on Gal Gadot. Now we talked about that as well some time ago, that she did blame Gal for her acting capability. We'll dive more into that in just a second. A lot of it, by the way, has to do with the third act of the film, which has to be all redone by the Walt Disney Company. This is exactly why Bob Iger and the executives are pretty much in this emergency meeting almost every single week about the current status of this film, because this could very well and potentially be the biggest flop of not just 2025, but all of the Disney history. And that's going to be a major blow for them as a company. Now, what's interesting about this, and continuing on, is that this behavior also put Gal in a scenario where she now no longer wants to be the better person and to take the high road and is completely disregarding Rachel. Giving Rachel the benefit of the doubt is no longer a thing after all these claims and arguments that took place behind the scenes. With Zegler blaming Gal for nearly all of her difficulties for this film, ranging from the events getting cancelled, like I said before, to how she claimed Gal putting pressure on her acting capability, this is only snagging the entire progress for reshoots when it comes down to the end of it all. So, again, this movie, and I talked about this as well, it is going to be just as bad, if not worse, than the Acolyte performance. Now, granted, the Acolyte was a series on Disney+, Plus, but this is going to be a movie. That makes it even worse. Why? Well, because you're relying on ticket sales, you're relying on movie theaters, you're relying on merchandise, which, by the way, is going to be very heavy for this film. Uh, that's already also getting cancelled and dialed back on, just like the Acolyte series. So much wasted uh, merchandise that really led nowhere. And this is a very well-known character that is basically embedded in pop culture. Everyone knows who Snow White is. And once this movie fails, and if it does really truly fail, it's going to be a very bad image for the Walt Disney Company in 2025. Now granted, and we talked about this before, Bob Iger is really crossing his fingers that 2025 will be his saving grace here. He wants to make sure that this is going to be the year that he proves himself as a CEO. Not so good of a start so far with this film and the fact that Captain America 4, by the way, has gone through a lot of disastrous test screenings, just like Snow White, which could very well spell the fact that this movie could also be another disaster as well. We'll have to wait and see. But again, this movie in particular has a lot to do with the fact that you have a lot of uh, creative differences happening behind the scenes, personal drama between Gal and Rachel. There's this blame game going on by Zegler toward Gal, and it's not helping at all the fact that they also have production issues. They have to get reshoots done by this December, and or should I say beginning it by December and ending it sometime in early January, that's all going to now get shifted, most likely until starting in January and not wrapping until the end of that month, maybe even until the beginning of February. So I would like to hear what everyone has to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.